The classical interpretation of jut sounds with two hand contact on the outside gate. So I'll give you a classic situation. I from here strike my partner, as I strike my partner he blocks, but he lifts his rear arm up in a struggle, so I've got two hands on the outside. So maybe he's punching through, trying to control me by striking, or even reaching through to grab hold of my neck. In a scenario like that, given that I've got two hands on the outside, it's far easier for me to jut to one side, releasing the pressure from the other arm, freeing my hand, and allowing me to strike. So, Again, I feel tension, he may apply tension on one side, one side, one side. I turn, stepping across, jerking, but at the same time it frees the opposite hand, allows me to strike through to the center line, and then contain the situation from there. So juts isn't simply just a scenario where you have one arm, or a scenario where your person strikes and he blocks on the inside of the arm, and you jut and change, or a simple situation where you grab the neck, it's very often, and it's perfect for an idea, where you've got two arms contact on the outside. So effectively what you're doing is you're controlling, releasing one hand, allowing you to punch. That allows you to punch, you can control, you can kick, and you can take a measure of control from that position there.